Uh, thank you, um, <clears throat> Board of Selectmen. Uh, oh, my name is Jim Rizzoli. I am a town meeting member in, the, in uh, Precinct uh, 14. Um, and I'm here to talk about the Comcast agreement. And I'm going to read, I want to read something into the record. Um, I have some issues with, with Comcast uh, because I think the oversight of Comcast with what is, what's happening in the town of Framingham is pitiful. So I'm going to read this verbatim, then you can get an idea where we're coming from because I feel that um, I, have, I, I and my brother have been discriminated in this town because of Comcast. And here is, here's what I have to say, okay? Comcast is allowing censorship, bigotry, and discrimination to continue on their cable station by those that run the programming there at AFTV. And by doing so, are not upholding by their own rules. By continuing to act in this manner, our licensing board, or the Board of Selectmen, shouldn't be approving their license until that problem is solved. That's very important. Here is part of the, com uh, the Comcast agreement. This is in the Comcast agreement. On section six, all right, four and, uh, 14 here, it talks about censorship. It says, neither the licensee nor the town or its designees shall engage in any program censorship or any other control of the content of the PEG access programming on the cable system, except as otherwise required or permitted by applicable law. That's a really, really important part of the Comcast agreement, and it's being violated by the uh, designee AFTV, okay? Um, now, I, th I find it interesting, in theory, Comcast is against censorship, but in reality, they're allowing it by not policing AFTV. Since the town of Framingham uses the designee AFTV as its provider for public access, then it is violating its part of the contract by not upholding Section 614 on censorship. This is discriminatory. It violates all FCC rules for cable programming and violates our civil rights as to freedom of speech and what can be legally played on local cable. Freedom of expression isn't just a peculiarity of European and American culture, it is enshrined in the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which says, everyone has a right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to, up, to hold opinions without in, interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas through any media, regardless of frontiers. Now, here's a little brief history just about uh, Myself, my brother and I have been involved with cable uh, programming for uh, since 1991. My brother got started first. We produced cable shows in the town. I have probably produced more cable shows uh, in more videos, thousands. There's nobody that has produced more videos or, or cables, cable shows than me. It's not bragging, it's just a fact. All right? And uh, anyway, I deal with all different topics. I deal with history, conspiracies, church history, World War II, the Holocaust, environmental, pretty much anything that's interesting. It, it, it's, it's all stuff that people can learn from. That's what I put on, my, on, the, on the cable station. So it's not your typical programming. Very controversial, some of this, too. Uh, we touch religious issues, creation, archaeology. All these things have been in my shows. Long story short, all the shows were illegally pulled off the air for 18 months July 18, 2014, by the local access AFT, AFTV in Framingham. Why? Because we dared to tell the truth, and one religious minority decided they didn't like the content. FCC rules are pretty straightforward on the show's content and what can be said. Now, here's the FCC rules. You talked about the FCC rules, right? Here's an FCC rule for you. Okay, this can be put, these, these things can be put on TV. Criticism, ridicule, humor concerning individuals, groups, and institutions. The First Amendment's guarantee of freedom of speech similarly protects programming that stereotypes or otherwise offend people with regard to their religion, race, national background, gender, or other characteristics. It also protects broadcasts that criticize or ridicule established customs and institutions, including the government and its officials. The Commission recognizes that under our Constitution, people must be free to say the things that, that the majority may abhor, not only what most people might find tolerable or congenial. 
Our shows definitely did that. There's no doubt about it. I admit that. But why is this important? Because Oliver Wendell Holmes said, if there's any principle of the Constitution that more imperatively calls for or attachment than any other is the principle of free thought, not free thought for those who agree with us, but freedom for the thought that we hate. If there is any simple principle in the Constitution that more imperatively uh, calls for this, like I just mentioned, we have to be able to have free thought. We have to be able to say what's on our minds. It's become apparent that AFTV, Access Framium, doesn't want to adhere to those beliefs. They have their own agenda of what should be played on local cable TV. And they are the ones that are making the decisions. They shouldn't be making decisions. So our basis of complaints is dealing with content. AFTV has no position in content on what goes on cable TV. And uh, there was actually a, a, a Supreme Court uh, a, a judgment dealing with this with the Pledge of Allegiance, and it says that no official higher petty can prescribe what shall be orthodox in politics, nationalism, religion, or other matters of opinion, or force citizens to confess by word or act their faith within. And AFT has failed all here. Our shows deal with politics, nationalism, religion. I mentioned all these things. And we feel that the last bastion of free speech and liberty that resides in America now, ha now has or has been put in the hands of a group of people at AFTV and the Board of Directors. Now, the people behind me right now, all right, they work there and they're good people. So I'm not picking on any of them. I'm picking on the Board of Directors and the people there that think that they can tell me what I can put in my cable shows. They have no business doing this. All right, Mr. Bruce well, I'm almost done, so just Good. hold on. Because I'm almost I want to done. give I know. other people the same chance that you've had to I speak. understand, I understand, but I don't get a lot of uh, speaking in this town anymore. So I want to just get my, my uh, piece out here. So anyway, let's get back to the, uh, the cable Comcast agreement. They are not abiding by that uh, rule here in Section 14 on censorship <coughs> because they are allowing AFTV to censor individuals. And that's my whole beef with them. And before you sign that contract with them, you really should get together with AFTV and find out why they kicked my show off the air because they did it illegally. That's all they had to do with my show if it disturbed people was move it to 11 o'clock slot. You can put anything after 11, it's called safe harbor. But they didn't want to do that. They just kicked me right off the air. And I had a lot of good stuff that was on those shows. And a lot of people appreciated what I did, but a small minority of people didn't like what I had to say. And they had the power to take my show off the air. That's disgusting. Okay, Okay. Thank so you. anyway, I'm gonna be you know, Could just you asking you, and, I'm going to sum it up, I'm just asking you, the Board of Selectmen, really, if you really care about freedom of speech and what the PEG access is supposed to be doing in this town, and it's supposed to be encouraging free thought and all these type of things, you might want to look at what AFTV is doing to keep people from producing shows that actually have good free thought in it. Okay, thank you.